Hey, what's up guys? Just a quick video on the new iOS 8. I will be demonstrating this on the iPhone 5S, but it also works on the 5, the 4S, and uh, so and it's also gonna be installed, of course, with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So let's go through some, some tips, some tricks, and some new features. And the first thing I wanna start with is messages. Now in messages, you can actually say you're driving, you can just, instead of using the old voice dictation, which takes a second, I can just say, I'll be home in a second. And I can go ahead and play that back if I I'll want to. Home in a and I can just straight up just send that file just right there uh, to Amy. Now also, they've added a QuickTime keyboard, I believe that's what it's called, and you just hold down here, or it's a predictive keyboard, and I'm gonna scroll up, and I can turn that on. Now when I have that turned on, it will help me to you know predict words like I'll be home, see be home in a minute. And I can send it like that also. Now I can also turn that off and now Apple allows you to actually use third party keyboards as well and right now I just like the traditional keyboard so I think I'll just stick with that now also within messages you can in the middle of group messages you can add and delete people uh, say you've been doing it for like a week you can just straight up add someone or remove them right there in mid text so that's a really nice uh, feature to have now also another feature that I really like is the uh, where you can share your location Say I wanted to share my location with Amy, I just click on details and I can put send my current location or I can say share my location and then it will ask me do I want to share it for one hour, share it until the end of the day or share indefinitely. So I can just send my location, say she doesn't know where I'm at, I can just go ahead and send that and she can just put it in her GPS on her phone and find me. Now as for Safari, they've added a cool feature I guess you'd say, it allows you to basically open up the full web page. See, I'm in YouTube right here, and say I wanted the full YouTube web page. And this is good a lot of times for like banks and things like that, because you almost need to access the full website, not just the mobile version. Now there's a quick way to do this now. You just clip, click right there on the address bar and swipe downwards. And I can hit request desktop site. And that's simple, it will pull up YouTube's full site for me to use from there. So that's really neat too. Now another great thing is in the App Store, they now have Family Share. You can share with up to six people, uh, you know, from your siblings or your friends or your wife, husband, or parents, you can share your apps. They don't have to pay for them. They do need to have iOS 8 if you wanna be able to share them, but you can share them with up to six people and save some money there. Now as for up other updates in the App Store, now they have videos. Instead of these still images that they have here, you can actually have a video review of the app built right in there on the App Store. So you can watch maybe how that game actually looks. You won't have to go to YouTube to see how it's looking. You can just click on their video that they already have right there. So let's move into the camera. The camera has some new features. First off, they have, well, I have nothing to focus on here, but when you're doing focusing, you can adjust the exposure just like that and the focus. So that's pretty neat that they add that now. Now they also have a timer. I can do three second. And when I take a picture, it will count down from three and then it will take a burst mode of shots. And that burst mode of shots will help you to get the best picture, but that's nice that they have that self timer on there now. They of course still have the uh, Pano mode, and let's move over here. They have slow motion at 120 frames per second. That's really good slow motion. And they've also added a time lapse. So now we can take time lapses of maybe the sun setting or the sun rising or an event and things like that. Now let's go into photos real quick because there's a few things we can do with photos. Let's go here and click on this photo here. Now let's say I didn't want this to be in my main photo uh, box. I, if I pass my phone around, I didn't want people to be able to see this. I can actually hold down on this and I can move it to hide. And it will still be on my phone, but it will be hidden. So if I wanna find that image, what I would do is I'd go back 
into the years and I'd go into albums and from there I can scroll down into hidden and from there I can see the photos that I have hidden so that's also a nice feature now for sharing sharing pictures and videos and things like that when I hit the share button I can now organize these in the order you know any order that I seem best for me like usually when I share things I will share them for messages so I'll have that first and then usually next I share it with mail so we can move these icons around and that's just really nice to be able to do also within the photos you can now have this search icon you can search for specific photos uh, maybe by location or date or time or event so that's really nice that I can just go in here and find let's see if I uh, nothing's gonna pop up there but if a date I don't really save my locations and where I take the pictures but if I were you could search and find them through there now in accessibility they added a new zoom feature you just go ahead and tap three fingers and here it pulls up this magnifying glass and this will go through uh, you know any apps or web pages you have open and I can actually resize that by tapping on the bottom of that and I can make it bigger or smaller I'll show you what it looks like bigger here real quick see I'm really blown up there to where even the app icons are just extremely big so that could be oh I can also resize it just as so but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it about there in the middle so that's that's really nice there to have and to get rid of that three finger tap and you're good if you do want to turn that on you're gonna to want to go into your settings and then general and accessibility it will be under zoom and you can toggle that on and off right there now they've also added a grayscale to iOS 8 and when I say grayscale it basically just turns your phone into a black and white phone which can be nice for nighttime or easier on the eyes or not sure really what you would want to use a grayscale for but they do have that option now Something that I really like is that Siri now can identify songs and you can buy them right there from the uh, store. I don't have a song playing right now, but you'd for instance say, Siri, what's this song? And it would listen for the song and it does a really good job. Uh, maybe I can sing a song. Uh, I don't even, I can't even think of any songs right now, but it will pull up right there in the app store and you can purchase the song right there from just using Siri. Another cool feature they've added with the iOS 8 is now they have a Hey Siri and that allows you to basically not be touching the phone and say Hey Siri and you can talk to Siri from there. So you have to toggle it on within your settings and once it's toggled on it does need to be plugged into a power source. So right now I can say Hey Siri, nothing. As soon as I plug it in and it's being charged. Now I can go, hey Siri, call Amy. Calling Amy. And that's a nice feature, you know, you might not think it is, but really if you're, you know, holding something or working on something, or maybe you're sleeping in bed and you have it plugged into the wall, you can say, hey Siri, set my timer for 7 a.m. Hey Siri, set my timer for 7 a.m. set the timer for a specific time. Would you like an alarm instead? Yes. I've set the And alarm I actually didn't mean a timer, I actually meant the alarm, but as you can see, she corrected me there and I can use it now just like that. So there's a lot of great features now with iOS. I just covered a few of them, um, but it's really cool. The awesome another awesome thing is HomeKit. It's basically like a home animation hub. And it allows third-party companies like such as iDevice, iHome, Honeywell, Philips, SkyBell, Broadcom. They can all create things like sensors and uh, light bulbs and window openers, closers, garage door opener, closers. And you're going to be able to control all of these right from your iOS 8 device, which is excellent. Something else is that the iPad with iOS 8, once Mavericks is released, you'll be able to use your iPad to answer calls. And also, you can answer calls on your computer, uh, on your Mac, once you have that Mavericks installed. So a lot of great things going on here with the iPhone. I'm really excited to get the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus tomorrow, and we'll do some more videos on those, of course. But that's that. Thanks for watching.